يخفف عنكم وخلق الإنسان ضعيفا نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل لقدة من لساني يفقه قولي السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته In this verse of Surah An-Nisa, verse 28, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that Allah intends to make things easy on you and man has been created weak. The other day, a girl soon to be married called me totally distressed and seeking counseling. She said she was overwhelmed with so much going on, the never-ending parties, not just from her friends, but her mom's friends as well. the anxiety from all the arrangements and that everything will be done on time, the stress from work as she barely took days off before her wedding date, saving the holidays for her honeymoon to spend time with her husband. All this had become so stressing for her that now she was having thinking thoughts whether she was ready to tie the knot or no. It is commonly seen These days that we worry more about throwing bridal showers and lavish parties. Friends and family who are actually competing with each other as to who planned the best party instead of showing any sincerity and concern for the bride. The way we've changed the system, it is hardly seen that Any sincere family member or grown-up is concerned about giving necessary advices to the couple with regards to their new life. And this is how it used to be. Once upon a time, the events were limited, but adults were more into giving wise pointers and hints with lively gestures which would subtly leave guidance specially to the girl. At least a week before her marriage, the girl was asked to avoid going out and should be more diligent on optional salahs and making du'as. She was treated special by people around her, not by throwing a number of bridal showers, but everybody taking care of her, focusing on a healthy and nutritious diet, and friends and girl cousins visiting her and teasing her with light, happy jokes about her future husband. Well, as far as diet is concerned these days, not much attention is paid to its healthy food, and it's all about who ordered the bride the best cake, which only provides carbs and sugar calories, adding up to more stress. These days, the girl is seen to be busy till the last day, running around her chores never ending, and most girls are working, so they have to deal with the stress from work as well. With so many different designers to choose from, the bride keeps getting confused as to what would be the best dress and totally worked up dealing with her event manager. Now, I was thinking, at the end of the day, does this really bring any happiness and satisfaction? And if not... Why and whose fault is it that even after throwing so much money and putting in so much time and effort, instead of bringing in any contentment, this only leaves us dissatisfied and takes our peace away? Alas, true deen, Islam gives us guidance in all aspects of our lives. To Allah, marriage is an act of virtue. If the knot is tied following into Allah's commands, the Islamic rituals are easy to undertake for its followers. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Meaning whoever fears Allah, he brings about ease for him in his affairs. At another place, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that he makes no one liable beyond what he has given to him. Allah will soon bring ease after a difficulty. In addition to the Qur'an, 
Our beloved Prophet وسلم, has also emphasized on a balanced and simple approach to life. We see from the lives of the Sahabiyat and from the Sunnah of our beloved Prophet وسلم, how simple their marriages were. No unnecessary formalities, no burdens whatsoever. Yet these were exemplary marriages, the most successful ones a true picture of love and mercy. Who could be more special than Fatima bint Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the prestigious daughter of the best human being, Muhammad Rasulullah, the first woman to enter Jannah, the queen of Jannah. She did not have any grand bridal showers or any lavish henna ceremonies or any event planners for that matter. And yet her wedding proved to bring a pure and lasting love with her husband, Ali radiallahu anhum. So it is we who burden ourselves with inessential obligations and by introducing unwanted customs, making even marriage an act so highly regarded by Allah and His Prophet difficult on us and a source of causing undue stress when marriage is actually supposed to bring joy and tranquility. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us to stay away from such indulgences so the couple doesn't suffer wedding jitters and they make a prosperous and successful marriage. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika shada la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.